Imagine this is your problem to solve. An unmanned boat circling at about 20 knots. After several failed attempts from various first responders, Bosa Mate 2 Chase Turner from Coast Guard Station Annapolis stopped the 23-foot powerboat just outside the Magathy River last month. It was kind of you know, like a two to three foot jump just over to the boat. Once I got on board, um, I just pulled the uh, throttle down and then it came down in speed. The 41 year old man who fell in told the Coast Guard he was wearing an engine cutoff switch like this one, but it came loose. But where he had placed it, he had also like he had like athletic shorts on. So it was a slippery, slippery material and it didn't. It pretty much just pulled off of him instead of staying connected to him and pulling from the boat. The Coast Guard connects the switch at the helm station to a ring on their life jacket. According to a federal law that went into effect April of last year, the operator of a boat that is less than 26 feet in length with an installed engine cutoff switch must use the link. All right, coming up. Coming up, bye. Bosa Mate 3, Molly Pilly, gets us on a plane and then shows us how the engines turn off once she pulls away from the connection. Coming down. If you were to fall overboard or fall down or any of those situations when if uh, the boat keeps going and you're not there, it's going to cause danger. That's basically the point of the lanyard. Bay Bulletin reported on another similar incident in 2019 when a mother and child were thrown from a small power boat while towing a pair of tubers. With two children still on the tube, the boat went out of control in a high traffic area. A Delaware Fish and Wildlife Natural Resources Police officer managed to pull up alongside the boat to shut it down and fortunately everyone was safe. Police say no engine cutoff switch was being worn at the time. No matter what you're doing out here on the water, that kill switch is very important to have. The Coast Guard reminds us it's right up there with a life jacket. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.